what happens when you take one of the most flexible automation platforms and connect it directly to the AI models that are consistently topping the leaderboards. You get a workflow powerhouse that was much harder to build just a few weeks ago. The game has officially changed for N8N users because Google's Gemini models are now a native part of the platform and the possibilities are staggering. Stick around because I'm about to show you why this is so exciting. So what's all the buzz about Gemini? These aren't just any AI models. We're talking about a suite of tools that can generate text, analyze images and videos, transcribe audio, and even create videos. Models like Gemini 2.0 Flash and 2.5 Flash are consistently ranking at the top for everything from coding and finance to creative writing and translation. This is cutting edge AI, and now it's at your fingertips easier than ever before. And this is where NADN shines. By bringing Gemini in as a native integration, it means you can now drag and drop the power of these models right into your automations. What used to be a complex process of wrestling with HTTP requests is now as simple as connecting a few nodes. To get started, make sure that you are running the latest version of N8N. If you're using N8N Cloud, it'll update by default. But if you're doing a local install or you're self-hosting N8N, make sure that you have updated your N8N version. To set up Gemini, head over to aistudio.google.com. Once you're in the AI Studio, at the top right, click Get API Key. Then click Create API Key, and you'll need to select a Google Cloud project. If you've already set up Google Drive or Google Sheets with N8N, chances are you'll already have a Google Cloud project enabled. But if you don't, head over to cloud.google.com, click on Console at the top right, and then next to the logo, you'll be able to see your Google Cloud projects. I've already got a project set up, but if you don't have one, click here, click the new project button and follow the steps to create a new project. Once your new project is set up, go back to AI Studio, choose any of your Google Cloud projects, and then click Create API Key in Existing Project. That will generate your API key. Copy that key, head over into N8N, create your new workflow and add a Google Gemini node. Choose any for now because we're just setting up the credential. Message a model. Under credential to connect with, click create new credential. Leave everything as is and paste in your API key. Hit save. It'll test the connection and if everything's okay, it'll show a green message saying connection to test it successfully. Close it, exit out, and you have Google Gemini set up. So before I show you some of the functionality, let's talk about why this is such a big deal and why it makes life so much easier. So earlier, the only way that we could have accessed Google Gemini was through an LLM chain by using Gemini as a model. So the only functionality that we had access to was the text generation functionality and nothing else. If you wanted to natively access image generation, image analysis, video generation, or anything else, you would have to comb through the documentation, string together multiple HTTP requests, and parse the output by yourself. But now, since Gemini is native in N8N, but now since everything is native, you can simply choose the function that you want to use. Let's try analyzing an image and configure this natively within N8N. Oops, not analyze, I want to generate an image. Let's go ahead and use the image in model. I'm just gonna make sure I have the right credentials selected. And let's go ahead and give it a creative prompt. A penguin and polar bear arguing about something with New York City like it. It's saved. Once this node completes its execution, we will have a ready binary file for us to view. So what used to take multiple steps now only takes a single step. And here is all the other cool stuff you could do. You can analyze audio, you can transcribe a recording, you can analyze a document, you can upload a file to refer in your other nodes, you can analyze an image, you can generate an image, you can message a model, which is a simple chat completion. You can analyze videos, which is super cool. You can generate videos, and of course, you can download the videos that you have generated. And if you need to do something which is not listed here, you can always use a good old HTTP request and hit that specific endpoint that you're looking for. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like 
and do remember to subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation content.